Consumer Reports basically says that this is the best vehicle, car, truck, SUV, van, airplane, boat, best vehicle by a lot. The only issue we've had, and the issue that we've had that was concerning us twice. Hi everyone, this is Mom B. J. Lee and we are back on YouTube. It's been a few months, maybe a year, I don't know. Maybe three years, I don't know. <laughs> I think I had hair last time we were on. Well, at least we're back here and I hope we're still alive. We hope everyone is doing okay. And today we are going to give you an update about the vehicle the that vehicle. we are in. Yeah. So we are we're gonna give you a 10 month um, honest review. So yes, we have a 2023 Kia Telluride that we got uh, November of 2022. Consumer Reports basically says that this is the best vehicle, car, truck, SUV, van, airplane, boat, best vehicle by a lot. So um, we looked into it, we test drove it, and we loved it. There's nothing to not love about this vehicle. Mm -hmm. There is one thing, um, but that's more, more of a personal thing. Um, all the other Kia Telluride's 2019, 20, 21, 22, the headlights have this trademark yellow thing around the, the light that's always on when you're driving day, night. Uh, ours doesn't have it. Don't know why. I need to ask them what's going on. I want that trademark. I, I feel cheated. Mm -hmm. So that's my only complaint. Um, so we've had this vehicle for 10 months now. Um, the only issue we've had, and the issue that we've had that was concerning us twice, the battery was dead. Or, not completely dead, but like no charge. And the reason why is we have this uh, uh, 12 volt uh, plug where we we plug this in and, and charge both of our phones at the same time as two USB ports. But if you leave it in, even if the car is off, you leave it in, apparently it drains the battery. So you come out in the morning, car no worky, we no movie and that's a problem so we do have learned to take it out all the time and ever since the those two issues which happened within like three weeks um of each other uh, we haven't had a problem um we i think we ran over a nail once so we had to get a new tire no we didn't have to get a new tire we actually got it patched and it's been fine ever since and uh that's like the only problem we've had um the, the really good things about this vehicle is it, it drives smoothly. Mm -hmm. Plenty of power. Don't really need it, but plenty of power. Coming from a four-cylinder to a very powerful six-cylinder. Um, um, this car has everything. It has air-conditioned seats. Um, it has an eject button if my wife is not behaving. Eject button? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. sorry. Seriously? <laughs> Are you sad? We have a um, power moonroof, which didn't really want, but it came with it. It was part of the package. So, why not? Um, all leather seats. Uh, we're not bragging, but that's just like one of the lower end models. Yeah. This all just came with it. Yeah. Um, Bluetooth, uh, has navigation map. Um, I'm looking to see what else it has. Um, it has heated seats, climate control seats. No issues, smooth. The, the the best thing I love, not the best thing, one of the three best things I love is the cruise control. Um, it's so easy, it's so effortless. Um, it, it keeps in its own lane. It slows down if there's cars in front of you. Um, it, it it lets you know if there's a police officer. No, it doesn't, it doesn't let you know if there's a police officer. Uh, okay. One confession, I did get a, a speeding ticket in this car. So it feels like you're doing 30 miles per hour, but you're really doing like 50 miles per hour. So you have different drive modes. You have uh, economy, echo. You have uh, smart, which I'm assuming it's like a combination of of many different drives. Like uh, I'll tell you all the, it has sport, which is like, I guess, speed, performance, comfort, which is for like suspension, um, so if it's on a rough road. Eco, which is what I usually drive in, is for uh, gas mileage. And Smart, I'm assuming, is the best of all three of those modes. Like, it knows when. It's like AI for, for driving. But, um, yeah. Uh, 
there's no i really don't honestly have any like legit complaints about the vehicle mm -hmm. the headlights personal preference thing i just feel like you know we're we're excluded from the trademark thing mm -hmm. um and the partition in the back uh on that and okay. the eject button obviously the eject button. <laughs> yeah. i don't know do you have any as a passenger but you've driven this handful of times but as a passenger as a passenger it's really comfortable it has you know enough space for you i mean the chair the chair is comfortable for me because i have a bad back and he has a bad back and, but the chairs are comfortable so I like and i drove this couple of times a what? lot of times 30, 40 and minutes. i feel safe driving it as a first time driver um i feel safe driving this uh, suv yeah. but um i would definitely recommend this to anyone um I think there's a base model, and then we have the EX, which is like right above the base. And then I think there's a, an SV, and then there's like Prestige and things like that. Like much, much higher levels, much more expensive than what we have. But um, this for, for the EX, we really got a lot of stuff on here that um, maybe 10 years ago, you would have had to pay like another 10, 15, $20,000 to get that kind of stuff but like navigation, air conditioning seats. It, it really feels like it's fully loaded, especially coming from a 2011 Toyota Corolla yeah. S, which in itself yeah, is it's, fully loaded for, for us, that then. It's for that quite time. an upgrade for us. Yeah, yeah. so um, we, we feel like a kid in a candy store, we have a lot of nice yeah. little toys, so we feel yeah. kind of spoiled. But um, yeah, I definitely recommend it to anybody and everybody, especially if you got a family. Um, this is definitely yes. a very comfortable, Way to go. Kaylee, do you like the Kia Tell You Ride? All right, there's your endorsement right there. <laughs> this is not a paid, this is not paid uh, video, okay? We're just doing a, an honest review. But if Kia wants to throw us like a free oil change, you know, we're not gonna <laughs> say no. So. But uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's a good vehicle. We love it. Anyone wants to buy it for like fifty-five, sixty thousand dollars $60,000? Give us, give us a message. <laughs> so that's it, guys. And we're going to show more on the video of the, the features of this car. I'm going to just insert it somewhere. Yeah. 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 And that's it, our update. And we're probably going to, I'll probably upload more videos in the next coming weeks. So. Oh, yeah. Subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. If there's more videos, you should definitely subscribe because you'll get notified when those videos pop up. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.